Welcome students, in this video, now we are going to see the orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting, okay? Okay, so what is the simple definitions of this orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting? So see, here in orthogonal cutting operation, the cutting edge of the tool and the cutting velocity vector Vc are orthogonal to each other or perpendicular to each other, okay? So if you see here, the plane step turning operation, simple. So here you can see this cutting edge of the tool and this is the feed motion, feed motion. So of course, the velocity or cutting speed is Vc and you can see this is a cutting edge. So the angle between this cutting edge and the velocity vector is 90 degree. It is known as the orthogonal cutting operation. So simple definition is what? The angle between the cutting velocity vector Vc and the cutting edge of the tool is 90 degree, it is the orthogonal cutting operation. In oblique cutting what? This angle between the cutting edge of the tool and the cutting velocity vector Vc is other than 90, is other than 90. You can take this example, this is the cutting edge of the tool isn't it and this is the feed motion this is the cutting velocity so the angle between this cutting edge of the tool and we see is this say uh, angle theta i am saying so here theta this angle is 90 degree here this angle is not equal to 90 degree isn't it so that is the basic difference between orthogonal cutting operation and oblique cutting operation okay so this is the first difference rather you can say now see in orthogonal turning operation in orthogonal turning operation there are only two components of forces there are only two components of forces one is the horizontal component or cutting uh, force component and another is the thrust component or the feed component FT. FC and FT are only two components which are present here but here in oblique cutting operation we are having this main tangential force or cutting force say if this is the cutting motion okay so this is the main tangential force and the cutting thrust force or the thrust force which is acting on to the perpendicular to the side cutting edge or major cutting edge of the tool having the two components one is the axial component and the another is this radial component so if you look at the components how many component of forces fc fa and fr these are the three components of forces isn't it three components of forces therefore see so this process is known as this process is known as two dimensional cutting two dimensional cutting and this process oblique cutting is known as it is three dimensional cutting operation it is three dimensional cutting operation okay so this is the basic difference between orthogonal and oblique cutting so see what are the examples of this orthogonal cutting we are having parting operation we are having sawing operation or we are having the broaching operation these are all what the orthogonal cutting operations okay 
and if you look at the oblique cutting operations we are having plane turning operation plane turning you can take the drilling operation milling operation shaping operation okay these are all the oblique cutting operation see orthogonal cutting operation we can take it as the ideal uh, cutting because see uh, many of the cutting processes are not going to be the orthogonal but of course they are going to be oblique cutting processes please remember okay and the very important thing related to uh, this oblique and ortho orthogonal cutting is that so whenever we are assuming that the orthogonal cutting operation the analysis is quite very easy you can directly analyze the problem as it is but when the problem is oblique cutting when the problem is on oblique cutting so there is no any way to analyze this cutting operation so that for that reason what we are going to do is that we are going to first convert this oblique cutting operation into orthogonal cutting operation and then we go for the analysis of this operation प्लीज रिमेम्बर ऑब्लिक कटिंग का एनालिसिस एज इट इज नहीं होता इसके लिए हमको क्या करना पड़ता है ऑब्लिक को ऑर्थोगोनल में कन्वर्ट करना पड़ता है दैट वी विल सी हाउ टू कन्वर्ट इट ओके ऑर्थोगोनल है तो बहुत अच्छा है नो एनी इशूज डायरेक्टली वी कैन गो ऑन सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन बट अगर क्वेश्चन ऑब्लिक के ऊपर है देन वी हैव टू फर्स्ट कन्वर्ट इट इन टू ऑर्थोगोनल एंड गो अड फॉर दी सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन ओके now see i just want to have some little uh, focus on this orthogonal cutting operation so that is we are having some conditions okay so as we know that if you look at this simple diagram of metal cutting that is of course step turning is there see this is my side cutting edge angle and this is my end cutting edge angle and this is my tool giving feed in this direction feed meri yahan pe hai this is the feed this is the part is undergoing machining after some time when tool is moving on this this is the machined part and this is in transit okay so here see this angle you know this angle is what our side cutting edge angle isn't it and this angle is our end cutting edge angle isn't it very important thing just we are going to discuss now we know that this is our side cutting edge angle and this is our end cutting edge angle side cutting end cutting edge angle in orthogonal rake system or in asa system american standard system uh American Standard Association system is going to be same, and only CS is having the interconversion between these uh, ASA system and ORS system. Okay, so ORS system it will be replaced by this angle, that is the entry angle or approach angle lambda. We know very well. Now see here, when I am talking about the cases of orthogonality. the cases of orthogonality so case number 1 okay when when the inclination angle i is equal to 0 here see in orthogonal cutting operation generally tool is, tool is the cutting edge of the tool is perpendicular to the cutting velocity vector so there is a no inclination at all so one of the difference that i uh, left that is in oblique cutting there is a inclination angle please remember because tool is set with a certain uh, angle other than the 90 degrees so some inclination with respect to work is there for the tool that's why inclination angle i is coming so in orthogonal cutting inclination angle is zero see when this i is equal to zero this cs cs is equal to zero 
when cs is equal to 0 that is lambda will be how much lambda will be this 90 degree isn't it so and c is not equal to or c is equal to 0 okay so see here when this i is equal to 0 this cs is equal to 0 means what cs is equal to 90 minus lambda cs is equal to 0 means lambda is equal to 90 degree isn't it so here either cs is equal to 0 or lambda is equal to 90 degree and ce is also equal to 0 okay that is how the situation will look like it is same like this here only the c will be not there c is also 0 c is also 0 now see here so this is the case of pure orthogonal condition pure orthogonal pure orthogonal in that this is the first condition which is known as the pure orthogonal of the second kind the pure orthogonal of second kind okay where i is equal to 0 lambda is equal to 90 and c is equal to 0 okay and when when this i is equal to 0 and this lambda is greater than 0 but less than 90 okay so if this condition is there it is known as the ortho pure orthogonal condition of the first kind orthogonal you can say this is the first kind orthogonal first kind orthogonal please remember this okay so these are the condition of pure orthogonality so when i is equal to 0 lambda is equal to 90 degree or cs is equal to 0 and this cutting edge c is also 0 like this okay you are uh, looking this situation like this then this is the pure orthogonal of the second kind and when this i is equal to 0 and value of lambda is from 0 to 90 it is the first kind orthogonal so if you see here so generally see everywhere the field is given in this direction okay this is the field okay now see we are going to see the orthogonal conditions here so see here ce is equal to 90 degree lambda is equal to 90 and inclination angle is equal to 0 so this is our tool now this is our tool okay so this condition is actually the second kind orthogonal okay this is a general condition where we are having this is the say tool is moving ahead in field is given in this direction so the point the two successive points tip of the tools we can get the feed okay then this is the chip thickness this is the width of cut and this is the depth of cut okay so generally we can hey, this is a normal condition where the ce is also provided okay now here what i am saying when when you can see here this depth of cut and width of cut are same depth of cut and width of cut are same and the feed and the uncut chip thickness t1 are same but here the c generally what is equal to 90 degree yahan pe c kitna hai uncutting ke liye angle kitna hai zero hai but when c is not equal to zero please remember when this b is equal to d this feed which is in mm per revolution is equal to uncut chip thickness which is this okay this and this cutting edge angle in cutting edge, cutting edge angle is not equal to zero means it is having some value here here it is zero so this orthogonal condition is known as the restricted orthogonal it is restricted orthogonal cutting it is known as the restricted orthogonal cutting. Please remember. So basically there are how many conditions? One is orthogonal of second kind. This is the condition. Then the orthogonality of first kind. And when, when this 
feed is equal to depth of cut feed is uh, feed is equal to the thickness and cut chip thickness and width is equal to depth of cut when the value of side cutting is angle is there it is known as the restricted orthogonal cutting okay so just for your knowledge you just keep it in mind what are the various conditions considerations in this orthogonal cutting but, but very important thing that we have to always keep it in mind so no any operation is remain the orthogonal even though it is orthogonal operation but it will not remain orthogonal for the uh, longer period of time it again become the ortho uh, oblique cutting only okay and one important message that whenever the question is on orthogonal cutting no need to worry you can directly use data as it is but when the question is on oblique cutting you have to first convert it into the orthogonal cutting and you can proceed for the solution okay thank you